So Chris Christie's office responds to this letter in a memo sent from the governor's office. And in this memo, the administration portrays David Wildstein as a loose cannon who made moves that were not productive and that he was tumultuous while working there. The memo listed five incidents as evidence to those assertions. <laughs> and then it gets pretty funny. The first piece of evidence is that David Wildstein, who the governor barely knew in high school, apparently, as a 16-year-old kid, had sued over a school board election. No indication as to whether or not this... No indication as to whether or not this uh, information came to light after Governor Christie gave him a newly minted job at the Port Authority. Also, that he had been, quote, publicly accused by his high school social studies teacher of deceptive behavior in high school. Hmm. Third, that he had had a controversial tenure as mayor of Livingston, New Jersey. Fourth, that he had been an anonymous blogger. All of this stuff, to my knowledge, was known to the Christie administration when Chris Christie handpicked him to be in a new job at the Port Authority. And that he had a strange habit of registering web addresses for other people's names without telling them. So Chris Christie is really scraping the bottom of the bucket here to malign uh, David Wildstein. And I think he's doing a good job of maligning the guy but not necessarily undercutting any of his stories as to what happened, particularly in light of the fact that we have a treasure trove of emails suggesting at least that uh, one of Christie's four or five assistant deputy chief of staffs had given the green light for this whole thing. And... In a late night follow up on Friday night with Politico. And hopefully somebody will send this over to uh, Morning Joe. The governor's office added, quote, just to clear up any lingering confusion. Governor Christie has said each time he has been asked. That he first learned about the closing of the lanes on the George Washington Bridge from press accounts after the instance was over. I think the Christie administration is so confused about what lie they're getting caught on that they now have just made it very clear that if David Wildstein can prove his assertion that the governor lied at the press conference. And then, of course, the next question is, why? There could have been children listening. In fact, my uh, daughter said to me the other night, I can't remember if it was Friday night or what, because she's now wanting updates on the Christie thing. <laughs> she said to me, it's true. And I didn't, um, and for the sake of her not being uh, branded as a uh, David Wildsteinite, I didn't directly attribute uh, who that quote was made about when I tweeted this out the other night, but. She said to me, and I think this is pretty close to a direct quote, it's going to be so awkward if the governor has to go to jail. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> yesterday. A simple way to put it. Yes, it would be she awkward. cuts to the heart of it. It would be awkward. Well, Mila is. Can we actually set up something where if Chris Christie goes to jail, 
and hopefully we'll get we our will. analysis. Can we that. can we get my no no I want to actually set up something up where we go watching him go into prison and we have Mila there and we just film her saying awkward awkward. <laughs> 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 